ads in the Xbox dashboard. It looks like there's some outrage over a McDonald's ad that showed up in the Xbox dashboard. And so uh, we will explore that today. Do I think that ads are a big deal in the Xbox dashboard? Not in their current state. I don't think it's a big deal at all. I think it's not doing anything to ruin your gaming experience, and I think it's pretty much the norm. But let's go over what it is exactly, because you may disagree with me. And if you do, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. I enjoy discussions like this all the time. We also have a Discord. Come over and hang out in the Discord. And let's jump into this. So this is a tweet that has gone semi-viral. We're at half a million views here from this guy. Um, where he took a screenshot of the dashboard. Here's what he said. This is Socko at the Socko. <laughs> he says, hey, at Xbox. And, and then he calls out Microsoft and also Phil Spencer there. He says, can we not have this on our Xbox dashboard, please? I'll happily put up with any game related ads you want to throw up and even the full screen ads promoting games, showcase events or sales. But non-game related stuff can get in the bin. He's clearly British and it shows this is also in pounds here. You can see down in the bottom right hand corner, sponsored McDonald's two pound 79 pence. Ah, see what I did there? Uh, first of all, I would argue this is very gaming related. It's gamer snacks, bro. Gamer snacks like Doritos. Put some Doritos and Mountain Dew down there and I'm all over that bad boy. Actually, Dr. Pepper is more my gaming drink nowadays uh but it does bring up a good question what are we willing to put up with is this too much so what's funny is ncaa right now does something where in between every screen they are advertising madden so ncaa 25 i'm very much into it right now it's a fantastic game and while it's not in the way it is annoying and at this point i'm like stop it and it's not on loading screens. You actually have to press a button to get past it every time. That's too much. But that's not what this is. And I hear I'm someone that likes Madden, too. I'm someone that is very much enjoying NCAA 25. And I, I like Madden as well. But it's too much. It's like, okay, it's a little too loud and in the way. And if you're going to do digital ads, I think actually this is the way that you do it. And I have zero problem with this. And this isn't the first time that this has happened. The Xbox 360 era had these. I've seen multiple ads that are not quote unquote game related necessarily. And for and also, like I said, I think actually McDonald's is pretty game, game related to be honest. But it does beg the question, what is too much? I do think full screen is probably too much. I think anything like before you fire up your game, if there was an ad, I think that's too much. I think we're paying for this service. I've seen some of the comments saying, you know, hey, we're all paying for this. There should be no ads on it. I don't think that that's actually accurate. I think, again, I don't think that this is a problem. It's out of the way. It's it's uh, there's four big blocks at the bottom. It's one of the four. Doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't bother me at all. I would be interested to see if they have like targeting. So for instance, maybe Socko here, eats at McDonald's all the time. So he got that ad and I didn't. And that would be very interesting to see if Xbox has that. Let's read some of these comments though, or responses to at the very least you, uh, at the very least us game pass subs shouldn't have to see that crap. It's not a bad, it's not a bad point. I think that's that same sentiment as, Hey, we're paying for Xbox live. We shouldn't have to see these ads. Uh, yep, I honestly don't mind game-related stuff, but that's not cool. Here's the thing. I think this dude is way overreacting. Once again, who cares? Honestly. Like, that's honestly where I'm at with this. So many of the stuff talked about in the media these days are from people who are hyper-retentive anal. Hyper-anal retentive? Did I say that correctly? And care about little stuff like this. For, this is not new. This has been there. Maybe he's, although by his gamer score, he should know this. He games He games quite frequently. He's got 158,000 gamer score. So he should know that. I, I think it's just something to complain about. And I mean, we're going to see more of this from Mr. Sago because this got 500,000 views, which shows why we have stuff like this. And it's becoming more frequently. It's it's not just a gaming box, says Jay Duke. I think that's, I think that's a little sarcastic. Uh, well, well done. Rebel Squadron says, I have no idea what that wallpaper is. It's absolutely vile. Geek card revoke. Um, yeah, and it is the avowed on his background there. Uh, eventually, that McDonald's ad will get a full screen and ad after you boot your Xbox. 
once again making assumptions. I don't think that that's going to happen at all. I've never seen that before. All the ads either have either been for Fortnite, Call of Duty, or gaming related stuff in the ad box for me. Me either. It was Diablo when I returned to the dashboard an hour or so later. They might be experimenting again, targeted ads. I think again, uh, sponsors, companies, they want to meet their potential customers where they're at. And if they're on your Xbox dashboard, if they're playing Xbox, they want to meet you there. So I'd be curious if these are targeted or if this was targeted. Xbox has made nothing, uh, no statement or comment, and they shouldn't. But the big question is, do you think this is a big deal? I don't. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't have a problem with this. I do have a problem if they do more than this. For instance, if they go to two of those on the bottom, I think one in the bottom is fine. I have zero problem with it. I think any more than that, I don't want to see full screen ones. Not a big fan of that either. Uh, but this, I don't have. I don't have a problem with. And oh, by the way, I do think McDonald's is uh, is one hundred percent gaming related. So I think ads like this are pretty common space in all digital, whether you're, you know, streaming, watching streams, you're literally seeing these everywhere. When you're playing a, a game on mobile, you see them. Even some non-mobile games have stuff like this, but it's pretty, I'm pretty accustomed to seeing small ads. And as long as it doesn't get in my way, I don't mind it. And sometimes it helps me. So I'm not, not, it's not disruptive. This is making it seem that it's super disruptive, right? There's, there is minimal at impact i.e. zero on gameplay. It doesn't interfere with the overall gameplay at all. Um, it would be interesting if we could customize these. Like say, I want to receive these types of ads and not these types of ads. That would be cool. That would be interesting. Something to take a look at. Uh, I think it's part of a larger ecosystem. Uh, I, I think it's temporary. I mean, he even said himself, it came back to Diablo. So I have zero problem. Zero problem with this. Uh, th I've seen them actually go because they also sell TV shows, right? They, they you can buy all types of media on the the store, the Microsoft store there. So, yeah, I may be wrong though. Am I? In the, I I fully acknowledge that I'm probably in the minority here. In fact, I can prove it to you because I did a poll. Check out the poll that I did right here. Uh, now this poll has only been up for a few hours at this point, so we'll have close to a thousand people respond to this poll when all is said and done. Let me hit refresh actually and see where we're at. There we go. We're at 119 votes now. And yes, if they so the question was, should the Xbox dashboard include non gaming ads? Why or why not? 28% of people said yes, if they don't disrupt gaming. I'm probably in that camp. I don't don't have a problem with it. 72% uh, say no. Keep the dashboard gaming only. Interesting. Uh, the dashboard should include any ads. Ads is the comments. If it include ads, Xbox should be free for all. Yeah, but there's a small ad like that is not paying that much. So uh, if they're paying me something, that's a cool concept being paid for ads. It already includes ads. Maybe there'll be a discounted one that have ads. Yes. The point of the question was, should it though? Uh, Xbox does ads on startup, meaning before the home screen is displayed and like online multiplayer, at least be free if we're getting forced ads. Xbox does not do ads on startup. Where is this being experiment? Is someone experimenting with this? I've not seen an ad on startup. So thing, but I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below again. It's no big deal. Let's go actually go back. Let's go back and look at it before we wrap up here. Just, just to be sure there it is. Bottom, right? The 279. No big deal. May not be a huge fan of it. Would it be better if it wasn't ads? I guess. Like I'm not really, I very rarely look in that corner. All my stuff, the most recent games I play are on the top left line there and then it's everything else. So yeah, that's that's my take on it. Agree, disagree, hate me, don't hate me. Let me know in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.